Happy 2024. Welcome to the Totally Designs channel. If you like to create, you like to grow, you like to know, or you simply just want to come and hang out, go ahead and press that like and subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Now well, I am back on camera. I have come to show you some more designs. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, maybe abstract, I think. I don't know. We're just going to work with it. I have all these different um, earring planks here. Go ahead and grab your paint, grab your brushes, your resin, and whatever else you're working on. Uh, this is going to be a great video. And this is for all of you guys that love to watch me paint here you are all right today i'm going to be changing up things just a little bit and i'm going to be doing different designs now bear with me because i really don't know what i want to do just yet but i know i want to do something um something extraordinary something different so we're just going to Picasso it. How about that? All right. So let me go ahead and pour some paint inside of this little thing over here. I am using that. Guys, I use everything for, um, for painting. Um, I'm just going to use a glob of that. And then I'm going to get another one so I can put this other color that I want to work with in Y'all know I am working with these spring colors, y'all. Okay? Y'all know um, what's going on right now, okay? Uh, let me see. I want to work with blue, but I don't know if I want to work with this blue. Y'all, I got so many blues over here. Like, I love blue. I know I told y'all that, Okay? Y'all be thinking I am playing when I talk to you all about this love affair that I have with blue, okay? Because I really have one. I've been, <laughs> you know what they told me when I was younger? They was like, blue is a boy color. I was like, oh, well, I love blue. It is nothing wrong with us wearing, and who, first of all, who in the world decided that blue was assigned to female or male who decided that like like really guys tell me where that came from because i know some um some very very masculine men they look great in pink okay okay i just went off on a tangent i know i know i know let's move on and let's go <laughs> okay sir let's get back to what we're here for all right y'all just having a little fun while we're painting so, um, y'all know I love this color called Peacock Blue, but right now I can't find the Peacock Blue, so we're just going to go with this blue right here. It's right in front of me, and we're going to go with it. How about that? Y'all know I got to get that ranting and raving out in the beginning of the video. All right. So, this is what I'm thinking. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. I just got another idea. Hold up. Hold the press. Hold the press, ma'am and sirs. Okay. I'm going to put some of that neon pink up in here, too. See, I'll be, yeah. That's what happens when creativity gets sparked, y'all. And hopefully you guys are really um, being inspired to just let your creativity flow. Not so much as you doing what i do but let your own stuff flow that's what it's all about okay so i'm gonna start off with this and i'm just gonna do something like this y'all like what is this girl doing i'm gonna do something extra it's gonna be extra extraordinary all right there we are so i'm just stroking up a little bit and we're moving on up moving on up all right okay i'm gonna take another brush 
no guys be mindful um if you guys don't wear apron you really should and i really should have an apron on right now because i i'm telling y'all i it, it i get paint on my clothes and i'll be like girl you already know that you should have had an apron on and i don't know why you didn't i i don't know if i don't know just sometimes i just i don't know i just be lazy i guess and not getting up getting that apron i just be wanting to sit down and paint and i'll be like let's just get to it okay so what i'm doing is i am i'm playing around i don't have anything in mind i'm just simply playing around allow yourself to play around y'all allow yourself to really have fun in your projects don't be so um stressed out or tensified don't 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 do that you know just allow yourself the creative space to do what you do and once you do that you'll come out with the most extraordinary and i said extraordinary things okay all right oh y'all okay my brush is acting up so let me tell you what had happened what had happened was the edge of the brush broke but i'm still gonna use it listen i'm gonna use it broke or not okay okay all right there we are so we're gonna add a little bit more and then what i'm gonna do is go over it again and you guys will see what i'm doing in just a second okay it don't have to make sense it just has to be creative it does not have to make sense it just has to be creative right that's the point right now oh my gosh guys i'm excited about this yeah y'all see me take me my little itty bitty brush the um brush part of it broke off that's <laughs> i be thinking like I need to stop buying these little cheap brushes that I buy. You know what? But I really wonder how often artists, the ones that really do the painting and stuff like that, I wonder how often they go through their brushes. Probably as often as we go through our um, our beads and our wire. All right. So, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and um, start adding some more of this blue in there. Okay. And guys, don't try to make it look neat. This is not what this project is. This is not a neat project, okay? You can be as sloppy as you want. Okay? You can go back and fix lines and do all of that stuff later. Don't worry about that. I know we have the tendency to want to straighten it up right then and there, but like, mm -mm, just let it go let it go let go of that perfectionist and allow that creative to come out let go of that perfectionist and let that creative side just come on out you know perfectionist you know <laughs> it destroys creativity it doesn't allow for creativity because we're so busy trying to be perfect and trying to have it you know just right we miss out on so much we miss out on the spontaneity of things. All right. All right. So now what I'm going to do is go back over on the other side. And I'm going to add that pink over there. Okay. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm actually going to take this brush right here. Um, No. I'm going to take the brush I had. It works. All right, y'all. Okay make sure guys you have like wipes next to you have um soap and water whatever you prefer um so you can wipe them hands and as you guys know y'all see my hands be ashy now listen i wash my hands so much and then i also put like um lotion on sometimes i put vaseline on because vaseline seems to be the one that keeps it the moistest at times um, but I wash my hands so much. It's like I wash off the um, the oils 
all right so we're gonna just go on this side i'm gonna do it like this all right y'all all right look at that that's beautiful we don't know what it's going to become yet you ladies and gentlemen we don't know what this is going to morph into that's the exciting part we don't know what it's going to morph into we have no clue we're just going with the flow It's called abstract art. I know you guys see some of the abstract art like you don't know what it is. <laughs> you be like, what is it? You don't know. You have no clue what it is, but it's still pretty though. All right. Okay, so that didn't take too long. All right, so now I'm going to add, uh, am I going to do that? Yeah, I am going to do that. I wanted to br do this brush off. Okay, I got tired of that little brush off. All right, there we go. Okay, and again, guys, you're not trying to make this super tidy or anything like that. You can on the second round. We're going to let that dry just a bit. And we're going to go on to our next one. Okay. So I'm just going to do some random colors. Sorry about the camera moving, y'all. We're going to let that dry for a minute. And then we're going to be like, what is that going to become? Well, I have an idea. But I'll let you know what that idea is in just a second. Okay. So now I have to get another one because I'm gonna mix some of this yellow in there too. I'm gonna I'm just gonna be extra bright with it. Okay. You know, I love yellow too. I think yellow is one uh, maybe a primary, um not a primary color, but a secondary color that I like too. I like yellow. Because it's so vibrant. Okay. All right, so what are we doing? Okay, so I'm going to take this oval plank and I'm just going to do something like that. Do something like that, like that, like that, like that. I'm going to do the same on this side. Guys, I have no patterns here. I'm just randomly thinking about whatever and I'm just starting up something. So. Alrighty. Add a little bit more. Alright. Okay, we're done with that. Uh, what color should I mix in with it? I don't know. I don't know really what color I should. Um, I'm not going to overthink it, but I am going to think about it. I want to think about what I want to do. Okay. Um, let's do this green right here. And as you can see, I'm just taking it through different places on the earring. Not really having a, um... I'm not trying to be neat, in other words. I'm just not trying to be neat. It's no point in me trying to be neat. I'm just actually... Moving around and doing this. 
yep that's it that's all i'm doing you um y'all not doing too much or much but i'm liking the pattern okay so now am i going to leave it like this or am i going to do something else with it i don't know that's the beauty of of uh, creativity you don't have to know you just go with the flow whatever feels good in the moment that's what you go with you go with that in the moment now um this is dry over here i want to show you the, this real quick it is almost dry rather i have these right here now i am going to open them up real quickly i got these and i thought these were like extraordinary and you know i like to to do things these are cabochons y'all all right now one thing i want to point out to you guys when you use these um you're gonna also take that piece off the back see this is also a piece on the back it will not stick if you don't remove that coating right there so i'm thinking about doing something like that that's what i'm really thinking about doing um am i gonna do that don't know but i'm thinking about it these are like eccentric type of earrings and people like that type of thing so we'll see what comes from this I'm not sure yet don't know how i'm going to incorporate that i'm loving that right there y'all i'm loving that that right there yeah um and then i also have where i have my my rhinestones and so you know am i going to use the rhinestones or am i going to use the um the dragon eyes because those is what they are or am I going to add some other type of sticker on here? And the beauty of it is I don't have to make a decision right now. Right now, all I need to do is get the painting part done and figure that all out. So I'm going to continue to allow that to dry because I am going to do um, another coat of it. Now let's go back to this one. Um, am I going to leave this like this? Do I feel like um, this is enough or whatever? Um, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to determine whether I want to add anything else to it. So I'm going to let that dry. So now I want to show you these big Easter egg ones, y'all. Now y'all may be thinking like, who will wear some earrings like this? I promise you guys, somebody is going to wear these big earrings. I, I, I I'm telling you, they going to wear them. Um, especially women that have like short hair, they're going to wear them. Uh, they're going to totally rock them bad boys out. So what color do I want to make this one? Um, I want to make it a color that is, um, it's just going to be vibrant. So I think I want to go with this yellow. Yes. So I'm just going to, on this one, I'm just going to do like even strokes again this is not about perfection and guys if you see that little um those little pieces i just picked up right there I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off it comes from off the brushes or sometimes the cake uh the um paint cakes up inside of the uh bottle all right now these are going to be good Ooh wee and you know what, guys? You have to be excited about your own projects. It's okay to be excited about it. Because really, you're doing this for your enjoyment, right? That's what it's all about. Do it for your enjoyment. I do it for mine. And if somebody else loves, the, you know, loves what I'm doing, that's a byproduct of what I'm doing or what I'm experiencing. That's, that's an additive to it always enjoy what you are doing okay all righty now this one is going to take a bit to dry because i'm co covering a um a large area and the larger the area is the lar uh the longer it takes to dry but 
ordinarily this paint does dry within five to seven minutes okay and I'm just gently going over it now guys you may have to paint over it a little bit more because these planks sometimes come with little blemishes on them which is normal it's a wood plank it's not going to be perfect it just isn't okay all right I am done with that one and we're gonna see what we're gonna do with that one do you know and guys you should be thinking about how you want to bling out your earring now you may not want to bling it out you might want something simple and plain and that's okay too um, but you also might want to have some type of bling on it and that bling could be rhinestones it can be um, charms it could be cabochons it could be whatever it is that you desire that it be it's your design all right there we go here we are if you guys have any questions or you want me to um, show you anything specific let me know let me know um, I did let you guys know that I am going to be coming out with several new videos I'm going to try to um, get out as many videos this week as I can And then I may be um, taking just a break or two, like maybe one or two days. But you'll have enough video coverage to catch up on because I'm going to make sure. Because I'm going to give my hands a break. I'm going to give my hands a break. I've been doing so much lately. And um, yeah. Remember guys, when you're working with your hands, you definitely need to take care of your hands. You got to take care of your hands. That means that you go get those paraffins, um, massages, whatever it takes. Um, you want to take care of your hands. Okay. Now that brush. There we go. That snuck on there. Little brush bristle that I have to get off of there, y'all. There we go. And sometimes the bristle comes off the brush. Just got to do what you got to do to clean it off. Okay, now we're going back to these earrings over here. We're going right back over here to these right here. All right, y'all. Now you can see that it's somewhat dry, but we're going to mix it in. So now what I'm just going to do is kind of mix it in 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 and of course i want it to be more lively so what am i gonna do to make it more lively i don't know we're gonna figure it out we're going to figure that thing out okay so these are kind of uh, cute like they are, but I am just going to add a little bit more yellow into this. And I'm going to kind of go over the like the little areas that are not filled with paint. They're open areas, so we're just going to do that. And there we go. We're going to blend that in. Yep, there we go. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Now, we're not trying to, you know, cover up the whole thing to take out that green. We're not doing that. We're just kind of blending it. And any of you that uh, do makeup, you know what I'm talking about. you just sort of blending in the color. We're giving it a little bit of a lift. Just a little bit of a lift. Not much. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, we're just doing that. And, yep. All right. Look at that. Look at that. That's really nice. Oh, I like the way that's coming out. I do, I do, I do. 
so now what I am going to do is I'm going to allow that to dry a little bit because we don't want to stress the wood we don't want to stress the wood we need to let it dry if you put too much on it it'll it'll um, cause the wood to kind of um, crumple up now you can use paint sealant after this to seal the paint in or you can use resin you can actually use both you can use the sealant and the resin together it's not going to hurt anything okay it's it, it's not all right so while i'm waiting on that to dry let's pull this one back over and now i'm just going to go back over it and I'm just going to add like some finishing touches. Now I am going to take this um, brush right here. It is a more thinner brush. And it kind of will help me line it up a little bit better. Now we can go and line it up if we choose to. But really you don't have to. But if you just want to line it up and make it a little bit neater. Then yeah you can you can do that at this time but I'm not really trying to go so much for neatness as I'm going for blend and I'm going for yeah that's nice right there alrighty so we are giving that a little bit of a darker service surface this one doesn't need much but i am going to fill in like the little gap right there so i do believe in filling in the gaps okay on the gap right there and only you could tell um where your gaps are you know where they are that's really nice right there all right so now I am going to fix the green part as well I want to darken it I just want to make it darker okay and for I'm just gonna do that so what this brush allows me to do is kind of get into those grooves and corners a little bit better Yeah, I like that a lot. In the comments, if let me know where you guys are from. Let me know where you're from. Where are you watching from, rather? Okay. All right. So I like that. I really do. Um now on this side what i did was i put pink i don't know why i put pink on that side but i'm gonna go ahead and go over it and i'm just gonna add that's what i'm saying don't worry about it if you you know don't worry about it okay we're gonna add a little bit more green and what I'll do on this side I'll add a little pink on that side we'll even it out okay now I'm gonna <laughs> do something I'm just getting ready to go all like this yep you saw me do it yep what is she doing she's messing it up no I'm not
Nope, I am not. I promise you I'm not. I am doing exactly what I feel like I want to do. All right, so we're going to add in this. Over on that side. Yep, there we go. Okay. We're going to take that green. And we're going to do the same thing on the side. Alrighty. Yep. <laughs> on this side too. Yes. I like the way that looks, y'all. I know y'all like, what is she doing? She's messing it up. Nope, I'm not. I'm allowing my creative juices to flow. And I don't really care how it looks right now. Because my main goal is to create. That's it. My main goal. Yep. Okay. And we're just adding along. Yeah, y'all, this is it. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to allow that to dry just a little bit. And then um, I'm going to see if I'm going to hit something with some resin. And we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's let that dry. Uh, let me bring these back over. Okay. I kind of like these the way they are. What I'm going to do is turn them over and just paint the other side real quickly. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wash my little paintbrush off real quickly. And I think I'm going to pop a little bit of resin on everything while you're on camera. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So um, this side does not require that I do a two-tone. It does not. I can just paint it one color and be done with it. And that's it. So we're going to do that. And we're going to let that dry. Now, guys, it's not necessary that you paint both sides i just do sometimes i might leave this bare in the back but i i tend to like it better when i color it when i paint it it just it just um makes a more cohesive look for me and i like everything to be kind of together conjoined all right all right so let's take off some of that excess right there that is coming from the wood and the brush so what we're going to do is just wipe it off keep brushing until it comes all the way off and it will okay we're going to let that dry okay we're going to let that dry over there all right, now we're going to go back to these bad boys right here. And this is completely dry. I'm going to go ahead and paint the back side. And we got a little green on there, but that doesn't matter, y'all. The back side can be whatever color you decide. You can have little freckles of things in it. And it's still going to turn out well. what colors do you gravitate towards what colors are 
your most favorite colors that you like to gravitate towards um i tend to gravitate towards yellow uh red um spe all blues it doesn't matter what color blue it is um some pinks um i love fall colors at times i do like to work with some of that um and i'm trying to think of any other colors i like uh anything that's like a neon color anything that's neon um, that has just a bright vibrant um, look to it I I like it okay we're gonna put that in the corner and let it dry I'm gonna go ahead and do this one all right there we go doesn't take that long to paint guys but it does sometimes take longer to dry and so like painting is really um a paint painting is really a patience game you have to be patient when you're when you're painting if you're in a hurry you know painting that's not for you you know because painting is more of a relaxation exercise than anything else and I know that um, people that ha deal with, um, you know, depression and different things, they they encourage them to do some type of painting or, you know, other activities or whatever. They encourage that. Okay, so we are going to let that dry. Okay, we're going to put that over there. All right, now I'm going to pull these back over these are completely dry uh, I'm not going to do the back side just yet I'll do that later all right now I have an option what do I want to put on here because I am going to put some eyes on here y'all that this is my final my final um yeah my final uh quest for these eyes um I'm loving these eyes y'all now i don't know if i should put this eye on or this eye on i don't know because they both to be honest look quite good um i'm gonna open the other pack these are nice oh my goodness and even this one looks nice too Ooh. let me see i don't know but i gotta get this other packet open I do have to get that side open too. Um, okay, y'all. I gotta, I gotta really think about that. That I, I'll use that for something else. So I have my choices are. Let's see how that looks on there. Ha. Huh. It's. This one looks good too. Okay, let me look at this green because I do have a green over here and I want I'm curious to see how that green oh that look good too. Now that I can either turn the eye this way or I can turn the eye this way. And I really think I like the eye that way. I really do. I think the eye looks better that way. Now let me see if I can find the match for that. Okay no i don't have a well you don't really have to be matchy matchy but here i do here go the match right there oh but then here goes another one y'all i can I, I can use this one too um ooh. which one which one um i think i like this one okay so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and peel it off peel the back and guys this might take a minute for me to peel it so there we go now if y'all know an easier way to peel this these backings off of this stuff let me know because it don't seem like um they make anything small enough i mean well probably i can get a um my earring uh hole puncher or whatever it is all right 
now let me pull this off too because it didn't all the way come off y'all still some on there I probably should have took some alcohol and got it off that's what they use when um, tags um, won't come off oh here it go here it go y'all yay it's coming off okay it's almost off y'all thank you for your patience okay there we go now I'm gonna get my resin machine ready and give me a second it's on the side y'all there it is okay alrighty and I think I am going to go with that. But let me clear the other side. Let me get this one off too. And then um, I'm going to resin it. And then maybe I'll come back. I'll come back in the same video. I know you guys said y'all don't mind that the video be long. But I want to make sure you guys are getting the best out of the video. Okay. So, again, here I am. I have to push that off. Again, guys, if you guys know any other way to get this paper off the back of the um, these cabochons, I don't really know why they even put them on there, to be honest. I guess to keep it from scratching because these are glass. So, maybe they, they put it on there to keep it from scratching each other. But I would prefer that they would just let them come like this, plain, without that white um, film on the back. All right, there we go. Got it. That one didn't take as long. Okay, so I am going to do the eyes. I'm going to turn the eyes this way. Come on, cooperate with me. There we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this resin on there. Let's get ready to resin this up. But first, before I do that, I need to make sure that I have a brush to spread my resin with. Because there's no point in putting that resin on there and you don't have a brush to spread it with. Now, ordinarily, I would have it. I have one right here. Ordinarily, I would have one. But I don't usually do the resin and everything in one part. But this time I am okay let me make sure what's going on here oh this is not the empty resin this is not the one I need well that's the one I'm going to use so let me just open it up okay there we go sorry y'all I thought this was my resin that was open and it isn't all right. Now, if y'all see the sudden light change, y'all, it's because my light be doing its own thing. It really do. It does its own little thing. Okay, y'all, give me a second, and I will have this open. Yeah, you have all these little different... Um, things that prevent you from doing what you want to do right quick all right so let's go into that I'm gonna do that but anyway I did choose um, to go with the green ones I think the green ones are gonna be fun um, this is actually gonna be a fun fun project You know, it is so crazy how they have these, um, okay, there we go. They have these, um, airtight seals on these things. It's like, oh gosh, really? Come on. I mean, I know why they do it. They don't want anybody messing around with stuff. All right, here we go. Alright, we got that. That crisis was averted, y'all. 
all right so i'm just going to go ahead and spread so let me go ahead and spread this out we're going to get that quite quickly let's get that right now because resin will cure quickly if you don't move on it okay this is going to be beautiful y'all it's an abstract earring i love it already um, I will wear it myself, and that's I'm gonna stand stand by that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it, spread, 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 spread. All right, there we are. I am gonna put a little bit more on it. Just give me a second, um, but let me go ahead and put this eye on there. Reminds me, eye of the tiger. Okay, we're going to straighten that out. We want to make sure that it goes right there. Okay. Um, it will dry. You just want to make sure that the eye is going in the direction that you actually want the eye to go into. That is super hot, y'all. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more resin around it. We're going to spread that out. Y'all, this is the longest video I've done, but I'm doing it for y'all because y'all said that y'all like it. And I would normally do this in a two part, three part, but I'm just going to go ahead and complete this one out. Okay. Oh my. Ooh, that is fire. Oh my word, that is fire. Come on now, that is fire. Who that's fire. Okay, mm -mm. listen, I'm gonna admire my own work. Listen, y'all gotta admire your own work, okay? You have to admire your own work, okay? Be a fan of your own work. I'm not saying, you know, arrogantly. I'm just saying, be a fan of your own work. You know, be a fan of the creativity that God has placed in each and every one of you. That's all I'm saying. Be in awe of that. And never let you um, your creativity be diminished by somebody else's opinion of it. It doesn't matter if they like it or not. It matters that you like it. And if you like it, believe it or not, other people are going to like it. I can guarantee that. Somebody's always going to like something that you're producing. You have to be your biggest fan, okay? You have to be your biggest fan. Now, where did that eye go? Now, y'all, I'm missing the eye over here. Okay, here you go. I was about to say, we got a, we got a runaway eye over here, okay? I mean a runaway eye. How you gonna have a runaway eye? Ah, uh, okay, guys. I found something wrong with this eye. It is defective. So I'm gonna take that off because it's defective. So we're gonna hurry up and move that off. We can, we can still save it. Um, I'm gonna move that one off too. You can still save it, y'all. Don't worry about it. That would have been nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on there now. Okay. I'm going to put that one on there. All right. There we go. That's still going to be pretty. Look, pretty eye. So we had a defective eye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But it happens, right? It happens. Like, it's not going to always go, you know, the way you want it to go. But it, it'll it'll turn out the way it's supposed to turn out, right? Okay. All right. So, I'm going to spread this out a little bit more. We're just going to be generous with this, with the resin. Okay. All right. There we are. And, guys, don't worry about the holes. Don't worry about any of that. Um, because you can punch the hole in it again. So don't worry about that. All right. The resin is very given, e given even after it has cured. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move some of this to the side 
but I also want to make sure this eye is where it's supposed to be because the eye want to move and do what it want to do and we not having that okay we just not having that no ma'am okay now I'm going to go ahead and add some more resin because I see little areas that need to have the resin added on there and be generous with your resin I mean I know some people are like well don't put such a heavy coat I like to do it heavy um, because it allows me to spread it all over and spread it evenly um, and it just for me it just comes out better but to each his own everybody has a preference right okay look at oh my goodness guys I'm loving this already I'm telling you I love this earring already ah okay is it me yep it is me it is definitely me and I am in love with this right here woo woo all right oh all right now all right y'all so I'm getting ready to go ahead and put this thing inside of the UV resin lamp and uh yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do here we're gonna turn it on uh for 180 minutes okay so i have that on all righty okay we're gonna go and put that in here Okay. Now you want to get it in there as fast as you can cuz it'll it'll cure. But uh, I'm just adding a little bit at the bottom, y'all. Don't worry about that. Okay. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that and put that in there. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how that's going to turn out. How about y'all? I know I'm excited about it. Okay, what am I doing with um, this one? I don't know. But um, what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll show you the end result. Okay? Alrighty. I'll be back. Alright, guys, I'm back to show you the final touches of these earrings that I was making they came out beautiful I love these earrings I cannot tell you I love 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 them I want to just zoom in just a little bit so that you can see uh, more a uh, view of these amazing earrings that I made now remember I just I just let my creativity flow I did not stifle it I did not overthink it I didn't try to force it i just allowed it to happen and most of the times the reason why we don't really see our creativity uh manifest the way we want it to is because we're so clogged up we're clogged up with what'll this person say maybe they'll be too weird or or you know maybe it's too outlandish it doesn't matter it's your creation and I always want you guys to understand that you create the best when you have no expectation, you have no opinion of it, you have no worry about others' opinion of it. You just flow in the moment. I love the way these turned out. Now, I did have a little bit of an um, incident with one of these earrings. Uh, actually, the I'm sorry, the cabochons. And what happened was one was faded and i couldn't use it but that didn't stop me from being able to create a beautiful pair of earrings with some eyes on it i love it go out and get your own dragon eyes okay and make something creative look at this this is amazing and i told you guys you gotta admire your own work okay I love those now also want to show you what wind up happening to these now as you see I kind of mix and match those colors but what I also did I did not limit myself to having the same charm 
sometimes mix match works what can i say especially the message believe and dream you got to dream and then you got to believe in what you dream right so it it really um goes well together i think it's synonymous to me i love 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 how this turned out I will make another pair because I do have some more charms. They say different things. And someone's going to love these. It doesn't matter if it's the same. Again, do not allow your uh, creativity to be stifled by your limitation. You may only have one of each. Use it. Use it. Okay. Last but not least, let me tell you what I did with these gorgeous earrings right here. Remember, I painted them yellow and I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Well, these were um, a pair of earrings by themselves and I thought it was just plain. But when I married it with that yellow, man, it just made that earring pop more. Somebody's going to love these earrings, y'all. I guarantee you somebody's going to buy these earrings and they're going to think they're all the rage. And guess what? They'll be the only one that has them. Why? Because I was the one that thought of it. And somebody's waiting for you to create some masterpiece, some one of a kind that they can totally rock and say, hey, nobody got these but me. You know, people love to say those type of things. Um Again, I was not stifled by, oh, that's too weird. Uh, that's too outlandish. Oh, people might not like it. I didn't care. What I did was I saw something in my mind's eye and I just put it here. You know, God gives us this amazing creativity to be used. We stifle it too much with overthinking things. We're too worried about this or that or the other. I'm telling you, your best masterpieces come from when you just let it flow. All right, guys. So this is the end of my video. I want to say, listen, I've gotten some new subscribers and you know all my subscribers i want to say you guys are amazing my returning subscribers and brand new ones you all are amazing um welcome them to the community y'all welcome them in and it is my goal to produce more and more content i'm probably going to actually get off of this video and create a whole different um painting video as well and as i endeavor to work with more colors i'm just going to bring them on screen so that you can see my processes this video was for you guys that wanted this long video so i gave you what you asked for and again it was wonderful in doing it and i really truly enjoyed it and i'm going to get off now so i can go do another video but as i always tell you happy beating